Welcome back to Imcom Solutions. Today we're going to be talking about handheld radios that utilize the 950 megahertz frequency hopping spread spectrum technology. Yes, I wasn't really familiar with this technology until uh, I did my recent video about the Beartooth mesh radios. So then I started kind of deep diving into that whole uh, technology and lo and behold there's handheld radios produced by it looks primarily one of the primary companies out there is Motorola at least currently that produces radios that are unlicensed therefore you don't, don't require any license they're in the IMS industrial scientific medical band um, and produce up to one watt or output of one watt of power maximum they're regulated in the US under the FCC part 15 and the reason I'm presenting this is a lot of us may have this, you know, we're looking to solve a problem within our communications plan. And a lot of times we're trying to look for private, secure types of communications that doesn't require licensing. Well, that's one of the reasons why a lot of people do look into like Mesh-tastic or Laura Mesh uh, communications because of the fact that it is unlicensed and you're gonna get encrypted communications. Um, the but sometimes we're looking for that voice handheld and we're looking for a more affordable option than like something like Beartooth or others. And we'll be talking some of those other radios and technologies in future videos. So that's a good reason to stick around and, you know, follow this channel. Um, but the, this, these devices, and we're gonna break down a few of them here later in the video are because of that frequency hopping uh, spread spectrum, they're, they're less likely to be susceptible to interference and less likely to be intercepted and heard by other people. There's, there's two factors to that. It's because of the, the hopping in the, um, in the frequency, the pattern within the frequencies. And I'm not telling you that they're not, that someone's going to come on here and say, oh, well, they're easy. I can monitor it using this, 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 and this. It's because you're looking for it. Um, not everybody is uh, monitoring this frequency because it, it's obscure or more obscure. Can you go pick up one of these at your local big box, Walmart, whatever? No. Um, you can, though, get them through other companies, uh, Motorola being one of the primary manufacturers that I found, and we'll talk about those radios. So if you are looking for a, a solution, a radio that you can hand that pretty much has a just a push to talk feature to your group members, whether it's family, friends, whoever it is you're trying to communicate with, maybe this is something that could help fill that and give you some privacy. So as uh, S2 Underground said, I believe it was his video, I'll put a link down below, that the privacy through obscurity, right, uh, you're gonna get more private communication. So let's break into some of these other these radios and just talk We'll talk some price points, uh, and then we'll wrap this up. In All right, so here's the replacement for, so Motorola makes the, this is kind of more the high-end models, and we'll break it down to the more affordable models, and where you're really gonna find your better deals is is, um, is from the used market, which is a lot of, you know, like eBay and stuff like that's a good place to find those type of radios. So the Motorola DTR700, which replaces this, it, Pardon me, the DTR650. Uh, you know, it's a digital radio, so yeah, it's going to have a a little bit heftier price tag. You notice it; it definitely says license-free digital radio. Um, so that's you know tells you pretty much what you need to know there. Oh, they do a video on it. Um, you know, like I, said, I just googled this, but it's going to tell you kind of what you're looking for. This one is using the frequency hops red spectrum, the uh, FHSS. Um, it is, um, you know, it tells you all of its features, meets, it's got water resistant to the IP54, which is not, it's, you know, water resist, resistant, meaning like it could get damp or whatever, um, but not like submerged, uh, or I definitely wouldn't want to submerge one, uh, but the basics are all right here, but that is not cheap, right? You're looking, that's about the price of a DMR radio, like an Anytone 878. 
uh, depending on where you buy it from and whatnot. So I wouldn't say that this is the best solution right here, you know, because of the cost. So we can hop over to um, this one, the um, the DLR 1060, and this is another digital radio. But obviously, a little more looks a little more along the lines of like your handheld, um, you know, Motorola FRS radio, right? That you might pick up from you know your local uh, box store, Amazon, whatever. Um, but this one still kind of falls in the same category. Digital band, no FCC license. You see here, uh, channel six, one watt of power. Uh, it's telling you one uh, one to two miles of of um, outdoor range, and then you're looking at you know it tells you because indoor a lot of these are being used for indoor type stuff. It is also using the FHSS technology for privacy. Uh, it has some privacy codes you can use. Um, you can do uh, ability to communicate privately within with individuals. So like, or communicate with like managers. So like more in a group setting. Um, so not too bad, but definitely still on the more expensive side. Uh, you know, two hundred and fifty. Fifty dollars is, is a lot for a little handheld radio, um, especially something that you know you, you're going to want to just hand out. So here's some of the other ones listed. I already looked at those. So let's go over to uh, uh, Redivis. Uh, Redivis makes a what they call the RT10. Uh, that is, it seems similar, but I wouldn't say that it's using specifically. I looked up the spec sheet and it looks like it's using a little bit of a different technology than the frequency hot spread spectrum because it talks about analog and um, uh, digital. It says 950 megahertz. It does say business so that, you know, it alludes potentially to, um, yes, yeah, it's suitable for commercial use. I don't know if it's required. It doesn't shouldn't require unless it's producing too much power or using some different frequencies. It shouldn't require a business license. Uh, talks about encrypted function. Typical kind of like sometimes with these uh, Chinese manufactured radios, the um, the information is not always like easily to interpret as far as like how does this fall in. It doesn't you know say specifically license free or using IMS. Uh, bands. It does say one watt, so that tells me it's probably falling in there. Uh, it says it's using the digital mod um, modulation of the four FSK. I can't remember what FSK stands for. I'll put it in the video. Um, so maybe it, it is, and it definitely doesn't appear to require a license, although they don't say that on here. Uh, you know, so those are some options there, and then. I'm just gonna show you, because we looked at this radio earlier, what was it, $250 according to that one website? Right here on Amazon, or uh, eBay, it looks like in really good shape. It says used and uh, working condition. Uh, they've th sold 309 of them, um, and they've got, uh, they've got them for $69.99 each. So $70 a pop. Um, that's a pretty, a lot more in the affordable range for a radio that you might be just handing out to individuals within your group um, that you know you might <laughs> you know and not cringe if they drop it or you know whatever although shipping on this is all oh, it's for international never mind I was like that's ridiculous but um, but then there's you know there's other ones on here that are you know higher price there's the uh, 600 for two two hundred and thirty nine dollars so this is just an example of what you could look at and I do have the all right so to wrap up obviously you see there's a wide price range there Motorola you're definitely gonna pay a, a premium for Motorola products they're they're built well uh, the name brand you know it's just the nature you, you're not gonna find super cheap Motorola radios out there not new per se so I would recommend if you are looking this you know you, you go for the used market first maybe try some out uh, if you think they fit your your needs then you know then you could you know, keep shopping around and find some deals on them. Maybe find them for less than fifty dollars a radio. Um, it's definitely an option for you to diversify your pace plan. You know, currently they're not in my pace plan. I have other technologies I'm utilizing, but what I'm 
presenting here is just options for people to consider because uh, you know definitely the conversation of private secure type communications is constantly brought up in this space so just wanted to present you something let me know if you're even going to consider something like this if so why and if not why price definitely be one of them i'm sure for a lot of people um compared to like you know your your baofeng radios i know like everyone's like yeah this they're too cheap not to have them i have lots of them myself so thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe to the channel. You can check out and connect with us via our social media links down below. Stay tuned for more great videos.